Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be covering The Black Beetle. He made his first appearance in Booster Gold, Volume 2, Issue Number 4, that was released in January of 2008. He's a member of the villainous Time Stealers group, having an average build and blue eyes with strawberry blonde hair. Naturally, he's the wielder of the powerful alien reach technology known as a Black Beetle Scarab. Being the nemesis of and having similar powers to the Blue Beetle, the Black Beetle Scarab forms biotech armor around its user that gives them flight, mechanokinesis, metamorphosis, vast superhuman strength and durability, as well as moderate superhuman speed and agility. Now, the metamorphosis part, or limited shape-shifting, gives him the ability to create various weapons, not only being able to generate various forms of energy projection and sound manipulation, but also being able to form various melee weapons as well. Now, I think I need to go into a little more depth on his strength levels as well, because it has been shown in the Young Justice series that Black Beetle can easily defeat Superboy and Wonder Girl. Not to mention him being able to go one-on-one -on -one with Mongo, who we all know could be considered near equal to Superman in physical strength. Oh, and the Black Scarab seems to assist him in time travel as well. So yeah, that's a nice piece of tech he has a hold of. Now, Black Beetle was initially baited into being part of the Time Stealers by the Venusian worm known as Mr. Mind, who offered him empty promises to save his sister. Black Beetle, being from the 27th century of the future, would go back in time and recruit Dan Garrett and Jaime Reyes to his seemingly just cause. Together, they would convince Booster Gold to go along with them and save his best friend, Ted Kord, from his death at the hands of Maxwell Lord. They ended up being successful at saving him, but when they returned to the present, they realized that the timeline had been altered and that Max and his Omax are policing the whole world. It was then understood that altering the timeline was the cunning plan from the beginning. But when Booster and Blue Beetle gathered some of their old Justice League International teammates to try to fix the timeline, they would be attacked by Black Beetle, who now fully revealed his affiliation with the Time Stealers. As the battle rages on, Ted would eventually realize that the only way to fix this was to return to the past and allow himself to be taken out. And despite Black Beetle trying to convince him otherwise, stating that Jaime took away someone very close to him, Ted would still end up entering the time sphere and activating it, with it later being revealed that he had successfully restored the timeline. But this wouldn't be the end of Black Beetle raging against the heroes, because we'd later see him attack Booster Gold and Dick Grayson at the Batcave. He had escaped to the past and changed the future to where Dick Grayson died as Robin as well as using many other distractions, such as actually killing the Teen Titans in order to steal a more powerful Red Scarab, which was being housed in Trigon's throne room. This would precede Black Beetle having even more destructive battles against Rip Hunter and Blue Beetle in the future. Now, for his powers and abilities and his influence on the DC Universe, for my one to 10 rating, I'll give Black Beetle a rating of seven, which is a master rating. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like, subscribe, and join the new Sage.